Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Every now and again, you have to take care of yourself. We spend so much time and money taking care of everybody in the family. The financial costs have increased. You know, the bills are higher now. The inflation, the gas prices. We, we make sure that everything is taken care of and we take out of the equation, daddy. And I decided to buy myself an early Christmas gift. I wasn't sure if it was going to be two handguns, possibly three handguns, but I decided to shop around because there have been some models that I've really wanted, a couple that I've wanted for years now, others I see come out and I'm like, oh, I have to get a hold of that. And so I, I, I went on the hunt. And one of the things that was important to me was to try to get free shipping because multiple handguns and shipping costs, you, you, you can be looking at easily over $100 in shipping costs alone. You add transfer fees and other package protection fees and all these things they add in there, it can become very expensive. So I, I wanted free shipping. I also wanted a discount code. If I could possibly get a discount code, see what's out there, see what's available, see if I can find a company that has two, three handguns that I'm interested in all in one place instead of a little bit here, a little bit there. And I was able to do that. Now, originally what I did was I put approximately, I think, eight handguns in my cart. What I realized when I put that many in there that I got what's called a big spender discount and it was substantial the company was guns.com they offer free shipping and they had a big spender discount and then i began to eliminate the ones that didn't make the cut if you will okay process of elimination I wasn't going to buy eight but i figured i'm going to i'm going to try to go for three i had a mental budget i have a zero balance on my credit card so thinking i'm being financially responsible and there's another discount I want to share with you. But let me let me show you the first one that I got. I have shot my friends on several occasions. I've wanted one of these. I've never bought an HK. I've always acquired them through trade. But the first HK that I bought was right here. And that's a VP9B. Love the way it shoots. They're very expensive handguns. HK costs a bunch. But the B is the button opposed to the magazine release on the trigger guard. So I wanted the B and I wanted a BP9. Once I left my cart full after a day or two and I slept on it and wasn't sure how I was gonna handle all this, which, which ones do I really want? Which ones can I let go? Guns.com offered a 5% discount. I got an email that said, you know, take your cart, do an additional 5% discount. And I did that. And that and the big spender discount was able to get me this next one for very cheap. The way I look at it, I paid about 50 bucks for a Sky DVG-1. I saw it at SHOT Show a couple years ago. Well, last time there was a SHOT Show a couple years ago. And I, th I thought that was really cool. Sky's first striker fire pistol. It does have a flat trigger right there. Nice break, 10 round magazine. Very subcompact. I figured, you know what? I've always liked Sky. And with what I could get this for, why not? So that's what I did. Went with that after. That was my last one chosen. Once I saw how much everything would cost. Another one that I was interested in for a little while anyways, and it really piqued my interest was right here. A SAR USA P8L. This is very similar to a CZ SP01. You can see it has the rubber grips there. All steel construction frame, 4.6 inch barrel, double action, single action. Love the SP01. And I took this to the range and I love this too. It does have ports in the barrel or in the slide and ports in the barrel keeping that nine millimeter softer than it already is. Took this to the range, took this and the HK VP9 to the range and very satisfied with both. They, they both were like really nice. So I've got some shooting spots for future reviews. I saved the best for last, by the way. This next one, I have wanted for years, I have to say. There, and there are others too, but this one I, I knew I had to get at a moment like this when it's time for 
a little early Christmas present, you know. Don't tell the wife. And it's in 45, holds 10 rounds, starts with a C. It's a CZ-97BD, okay, here it is. I love this gun. Now, a friend of mine said, if you get that gun, you will never fire a 45 the same way. I'm like, come on, 1911s? He's like, okay, well, maybe 1911s, but this is amazing. I got the decocker model, which is newer than the thumb safety only model, but it's a full size 45. Look at that aluminum grip. I love the way CZ does that, like the Shadow 2 and now with the 97BD. Full size 45 ACP handgun. I cannot wait to get this to the range. It is really something. So that's what I went with. I'm happy with the deal I got. I'm happy with my choices, although I I let go of some real nice ones too, but I had to, to scale it down. I initially intended on getting three. I ended up with four, splurged it a little bit, and now I have some work to do with reviews and paying off that credit card. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.